This series is all about becoming an AI-first engineer. And I think as software developers adapt to AI, there are a lot of new terms that come up. One of them that I'm seeing a lot right now is MCP. James, can you tell me a bit about what MCP is? Yeah, so this is cool. So this stands for the Model Context Protocol. And really it's a way to expose tools as APIs to an AI agent or an LLM so that they can be called potentially even remotely over a server. You could run your MCP servers on AWS or wherever you want and talk to them from your LLM agent. So this could be Bedrock or however you want to build your agent. So let's check out some code. So I'm using the Python SDK for MCP. This is just an easy way to get started. What we can do is create a new fast MCP server. And then I'm going to say at mcp.tool. And I have a super simple, we'll start with the simplest thing that could possibly work. I have a function called add. It takes two parameters. It adds them together, returns an int. And we get this doc string here that actually is an indication to the LLM about when this function should be called. So depending on what the user types into the LLM, it is gonna decide, do I wanna call this function or not? And we could put this on a server and connect to it remotely, or you can use it locally as like a sub process. And so for Cloud Desktop, I'm using it as a local sub process. And I've already set up this particular MCP server to be connected to my Cloud Desktop. But now we can come in and actually try these functions. We can say add one and two. So natural language. And it should recognize that it should actually call my, my MCP oh, function. Nice. And there it's like saying, are you sure you want to allow this? I'm gonna say, yes, I do. We'll see some debugging information on the parameters. And then it did actually call my tool to actually perform that. So this is a very trivial example, but you can imagine now that you have this protocol to talk to a tool, you could fetch data, you could make updates, you could respond to your email, you can build an agent that can do whatever you want. And there's hundreds of MCP servers already out there that you can just plug into your AI agents or IDEs, any place that has a client for MCP, you can plug MCP servers into it. You know how we have this common theme of using a restaurant analogy with API and like how you would have to kind of have this waiter to then go and you make very specific calls. It seems like the MCP in that scenario is this personal assistant that just knows what you want without you having to say it, That's right? Cool. And that is such a cool uh, tool. I think it's obviously something we're gonna hear a lot. So let us know if you've heard of the term MCP in the comments. And if you wanna stay in the know of terms that are coming up that you're gonna hear a lot more about right now and be an AI first engineer, stay tuned for the next episode.